I'm Candy Cooper and in this video I want to show you how you can make this vertical textural landscape painting using Sakura's Crepa's Expressionist Oil Pastels and Crepa's Junior Artist along with Koi watercolors. So to get started you're going to need some watercolor paper. You can do this in any size, really easy. And then with a pencil you're going to lightly draw your landscape. Once you're happy with your landscape composition, you're going to then outline each of your shapes with a black crepa. And I'm going to come over here and make some wavy clouds. And now I'm going to use some koi watercolors to add the color to my landscape. And I've gone ahead and put some colors out on my palette here. And then I'm just going to grab a paintbrush to wet my watercolors. And I'm going to slide these off to the side because I may need my center area to blot some of this off. But, okay. And so I'm using tubes so that all of the color is super brilliant because in tube watercolors, these are, the pigment is more concentrated, so it gives you a really brilliant effect on the paper. So let's go ahead and take a wash across the landscape here and you can add some more watercolor on your brush and add some more pigment. And for this section I'm actually going to use a technique that uh, with saran wrap so that I can get some texture. And that's the neat thing about this piece is each section has a different household item worked into it to create texture on your drawing. So for this section, you want to leave the paint kind of wet. And, but you can, you can still add some darker areas here and there. So once you fill in all of your areas nice and neat, then you'll want to lay a piece of saran wrap on top of your wet area of the drawing. And this may take a couple um, different times to work on it because you'll need to let these dry in between. So once you lay it on top, then you're going to scrunch the saran wrap and when you remove it, you'll have an area that looks about like that. Now for the sun, I've switched over and I'm going to use a sponge that's wet and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of the koi yellow and I'm going to add a little bit more water and for this I'm going to actually sponge paint. I've gone ahead and done some but I want to come back and highlight some of these areas so you can just leave that nice and bright. Now for the, let's clean out our brush here, for the sky we're going to pick up some blue with our brush and you could also outline each of your areas in your own colors of crepas. The black is kind of fun because it makes it almost look like a stained glass window. But we're going to use a really wet mixture again and you can see how bright these are when it hits the paper. And I just want to give you some ideas so I'm not actually going to finish the entire sky but the bottom section here and it would be okay if your paint runs into each other because you have that watercolor resist happening there with the crepas. And then you're going to sprinkle some salt on it and that will create its own texture. But I love how the saran wrap looks when you pull it from the paper. And so now we have something like this and the last thing I want to show you let me just grab a clean brush altogether. Is what happens with bubble wrap. I'm going to grab a lighter color green, and you could, of course, blend your colors together. Before I forget, I want to um, tell you too that if you don't use all of your watercolor, it's okay to leave it on the palette to dry because you can always re wet it at a later time with your brush and start again. It's one of my favorite things about Koi watercolors. 
And we're gonna leave this one a little bit wet too. And you can blot some of this paint away with bubble wrap to get a new texture that's almost like polka dots. So then when everything is filled in and colored in, you can grab your junior artist crepas or your expressionists. These are slightly larger and you can draw on top of your drawing and you can create more texture this way. And I'm gonna grab some purple and kind of blend these together because of their creamy texture, the oil pastels blend beautifully. But this is a project that you could do um, as a beginner artist or you could make it really advanced. Great for students of all ages using Sakura's Crepas Expressionist Oil Pastels and Crepas Junior Artists and Sakura's Koi Watercolors.